hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel i am blessing banjo in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make a structured gong sleeve and i'll also be teaching you how you can easily attach two sleeves to your garment please watch this video to the end kindly like this video and subscribe if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel so i already have my sleeve cut down here and i already have my sleeve cut down here and what i just did is the round ham is 8.5 and i also used 8.5 here so i use 8.5 here and i use 8.5 here so that's just the trick i cut my sleeve the tr and then i cut it in such a way that i it will have puff at this upper side i did it in such a way that it will have puff and then i cut it here. i actually used freehand in cutting it so and then this is the trick that makes it have that makes it exaggerated i used this um collar stay is a very very thick one i saw it in the market and i was told that this collar stay would not uh would still stand strong even after washing it and then i cut my sleeve so what i'll be doing now is this i'll be making use of my boning i'll press this on my lining like so then after pressing i'll take my boning and show you the next thing we will be doing also i have my chantilly net here i'll be cutting it i have a well detailed tutorial on this channel on how to cut a long sleeve so the link is in the description box please click on it and you would see how to cut a long sleeve so i'll be cutting the long sleeve so i'm done pressing and i've cut the sleeve out here i'm done pressing the sleeve so the next step now is this so i'm making use of my regiling boning so i'll just come here just measure the i used 1.5 inch uh, sewing allowance so i'll just make ensure that it doesn't get to that 1.5 i'll measure what i have cut out so i can do this here at the edge i'll be doing it at the edge and i'll also do it yeah like you can actually decide to do a lot but two is actually okay and after doing that i'm going to sew it along i'm sewing it along too yeah so another thing i want to mention is that when you are doing this for example you might not use this kind of color stay the color stay i used this is i think this is expensive i think it's probably the most expensive color stay in the market in case you couldn't get this probably you decide to use another color stay and in case you are using this kind of color stay you might actually have to probably reinforce again with crinoline so what you just do is this you take your crinoline so let's say this is my crinoline so you take your crinoline then you measure what you have so after measuring you measure what you have so you can decide to just uh after measuring what you have so what you do is this you sew it on top of each other this way did you see this you sew on top of each other this way so as to make it wider so after making it wider like so after sewing it on top of this to make it wider then you now place your crinoline again i'm talking about in case you are using this kind of stay so as to make it harder so you use your crinoline then you put your boning on your crinoline and you place it here so i hope you understand i won't be doing that because i'm using a very strong color stay i was told it lasts more than this one so i'll be making use of that so let me go and sew it after sewing the boning after sewing the boning what i'll do next is to just join the sides together the sewing allowance I will join the sides together and after joining the sides together we will come back yes you can see i'm done fixing the boning i'm done fixing the boning and this is how the boning looks like so this is the wrong side i just did two 
I will do next is this. This is my sleeve. I will just join the lower side like this. The button, stop stitch and press. And then show you the next thing to do. Yeah, so I'm done joining. This is, I, I need to tell you that when I was joining this, it was very hard. This color stain, very, very hard. Why joining? So I would advise that when you are doing using your especially this kind of color stay i would advise that you don't uh you don't iron it close to i would advise you don't iron it close to your sewing allowance just stop about 0 0.5 inch is extremely hard yes so i have folded it into two you can see this is standing already it's standing so i folded it into two and then i've marked my sewing allowance so i'll be going to the sewing machine now to sew after sewing i would finish up the edge and show you the next thing to do i'll do the same for the second sleeve yes yeah, so i finished the edge here with the fabric because i'm not sure if the weaving machine would go through it so i finished it off the next step now is to just turn it over so this exact thing i'll be doing the same for the second sleeve and after doing that i'll show you the next thing the long sleeve i'm done with it yes the long sleeve yeah so i'm done fixing everything as you can see so to fix the double sleeves now i will fix this one first i'll fix this to my uh garment see i'll be fixing it first i've not fixed anything so i'll fix this first after fixing it i will then fix the second sleeve i hope you got that I'll fix this to my sleeve. After fixing this, I'll fix the second one. So I'll be showing you that when I'm done. Yes, I'm done fixing the sleeve. I'm done fixing it. The next step now is to just fix this one. So I'll be fixing it inside. I'll turn this to the wrong side and then fix this sleeve. So I'll be doing that for the second side. And then I'll show you the picture after I'm done. We are done with fixing of the two sleeves. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your soul friends. You can also join my Facebook group, The Nora Fashion Line. The link is in the description box. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.